Hey, this is Joe with Personas. I'm gonna show you two keyboard shortcuts that I think you absolutely must know in a bigger context of getting faster at navigating your sessions. Now, when I talk about being faster, I sometimes get pushback from people saying, Joe, we're just making music. This is art. We don't need to rush it, brother. And I understand the thought process. However, being slow, sometimes painfully slow at something is not creative at all. If anything, it hinders creativity. I've been on sessions where I'm the musician and I'm ready to play my part. And then I say, okay, I'm ready. And it can sometimes be a couple of minutes before the engineer is ready. And if that happens every single time I'm ready to record, I start to get, it just starts to lose the energy and the momentum of the day. So being fast for the sake of being fast, okay, I get it, that's not very exciting. But being fast for the sake of making better music, or getting more done in a 30 minute amount of time that we have to work on our music, things like that's when it starts to really become apparent how valuable this is. So what I want to show you today is specifically related to soloing and muting things quickly so you can just jump in and hear what you're trying to work on and then jump back out. So uh, in context of a mix session, for example, if I want to hear how my drums are sounding or how my kick drum is sounding, for example, there's a, obviously there's a couple ways to do that. I can come over here and I can find the kick drum and then I can press the solo button. That's obviously one way to do it. I don't love that approach because then you have to move your mouse all the way over there and find that tiny little rectangle to click on it. There's an easier way to do it. Uh, you can just select the channel itself, okay? Just make sure it's selected, which means I can click anywhere in this blue area, and then just press S on the keyboard for solo. And it just toggles it on and off. Or if I want to say, I do this all, I didn't think I did this in a previous video. If I want to listen to all these drums, I can select the first one, hold down shift, select the last one, and press S. And it solos everything I've selected. Obviously, if I want to solo all the electrics, I could also just click on the electric bus right and press s and it'll solo everything feeding that bus and it's a lot faster plus if you want to get real fun with it you can take your hand off the mouse entirely and just use your arrows so i'm literally pressing pressing left and right on my keyboard you can hear the fader port over here just jumping around and i can literally get through the session pretty stinking quickly so if i've selected one thing and i'm like i like the way the overhead sound how does it sound with the room mic i could just do that and do that again so i'm pressing right arrow and S, and I can turn it back off like that. So that's the first thing. Start playing around with, maybe the arrow doesn't make sense because you're in, you're on your mouse a lot for a lot of things, but finding ways to incorporate that S, my finger hangs over S anyway because I'm always pressing Command S to save things. So having the arrows plus S is pretty great. So what's an example of that? I can say, okay, how, these guitars, they're driving me crazy. So I can come over here to the guitar track. So maybe I start by clicking here. And then I can say solo. Let me solo the first two. So I just hit S, right, S. And if that sounds good, I can add the third one. Go over with the arrow and press S there, there, there. Now here's what's really interesting. Let's say I decide I want to listen to those first three guitars here. And this one's lit up because it's the bus. So it everything's feeding through that so it has to be soloed as well so that we hear it the next thing that's even more cool is we can turn these solos off listen to them in the context of the entire mix and then we can turn them back on what just happens a couple of things there i used a keyboard shortcut but it actually relates to these little hidden buttons up here so inside the mixer at the, if you turn the mixer off at the very bottom of the screen you'll see these two buttons here a power button an s and an m and if you have the mixer engaged, then they, they now live right here. So they're basically at the bottom of the arranger, at the top of the mixer are these. This one is the one that lets you bypass all your plugins uh, or activate all inserts, if you want to call it that. Uh, these two have to do, obviously, with mute and solo. But how do they work? Well, if we hover over them, we can learn that this is the global mute command, command shift. Sorry, it's global mute, and the command is command shift M. This is global solo, command shift S. What in the world does that mean? It means means that Studio One remembers whatever the last thing is you had soloed. So if you click this button, it will solo them again. See how those three guitars are being soloed? Let's go crazy. Let's say we want this, 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 and this, and this soloed, okay? We've got random yellow solo lights everywhere. By pressing this button here, 
it automatically turns them on and off. We can see it a little better in the mix, in the arranger view. Press that S button, this global solo button down here, and it toggles it on and off. Why is that useful? Let's say we're trying to decide, um, again, let's say back to those guitars. Let's say we're trying to decide if the this hammer, this Mai Tai, and these background vocals, if they're doing us any if they're helping us out here at this final chorus. So we can hit play over here, and by pressing this button here, this solo button down here, we can turn all of those on and off. And obviously the same works for mute. If we muted all of those, so select all of these and press M to mute, now the global mute happens. So in this instance, this might actually be more helpful than the solo. Now, to be fair, this works. <laughs> Sorry, I've got some automation on that that just kicks in at the end. This works if all of these are selected just by pressing M over and over turns them on and off. But typically, you've got them all selected and then you go click on something else and now you want to unmute them. This is where this comes in handy. And I like to use the command Shift Command or it's Shift Control on the PC, M and S. So I can quickly, and by the way, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these are mutually exclusive. So if I want to have the kick and bass soloed, I can hit shift command S to turn that solo on and off and the M turns on the previous mute that I had, which is down here, this Mai Tai and those purple vocals. So that is incredibly handy. I use it all the time to the point I don't even think about it. It's just second nature. But I might say, how are all these drum tracks and bass sounding by themselves? Now, obviously, again, since they're all still selected, I can just press S because Studio One does affects whatever selected. But if I've clicked away from that and I'm over here looking down at this vocal, for, you know, I'm zoomed in on this vocal for some reason, I can still use that Shift Command S to turn on and off that solo. So if you can't imagine how this would be that helpful to you, I encourage you to just mess around with it because it really is, there are so many different scenarios where this comes in handy and I use it all the time. I can't tell you if I use the solo or the mute more, but they're both super, super handy. Um, probably the mute more than anything, um, but it's really, if I just need to turn off this solo for just a second, to hear something or turn off these mutes for a second and hear what it's like and then turn them back on. It is one of, these are two of the coolest shortcuts that I know. So if you forget, this is a cool one because it shows you Command Shift M or Control Shift M on the PC, Command Shift S turns it on and off. All right, that's it. Go try it. If you haven't, do it today before you forget. Thanks for watching. See ya.